Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Sita, a poem by Thoruddhatta. Here, Thoruddhat does not tell the story of Sita from Ramayana, but she tells the impact the story had on three young children when the mother recites the poem, the story of Sita to these children. And in this poem, Thoruddhat conjures up the mystic path and tries to infuse it into the past glory. And in that, she gives a picture of the sadness, the grief of Sita who was in exile. And throughout the poem, she fascinates the readers with a description of nature in which flowers, lakes, peaks, peacocks and a herd of deer find a place. The person who is speaking in the poem is the mother and she is telling the story of Sita in exile to her three children, that is to Thoru, her sister Aru and brother Abju. They are all in a darkened room and the three children graze through the eyes to their mother telling the story and in their mind they are able to picturize a dense forest, the ashram of Valmiki, where Sita was in exile. And in that forest, they see gigantic flowers blooming on creepers and these flowers are so gigantic that they embrace tall trees. There is also a quiet clear lake and in that lake, they see white swamps swimming smoothly. By the, beside the site, there is a peacock springing the herds of wild deer racing. And the small areas gleaming with yellow waving grain are also in their mind. And among all these, they find Sita weeping because she has been put in exile in Valmiki's ashram. The sorrow of Sita's life deeply touches the children. They feel sorry for Sita and this feeling makes tears to roll down their eyes. In fact, that night, they only dream of it and that is the way they pass the day because the impact of the story had pierced their hearts. Now, let's read the poem. Three happy children in a darkened room. What do they gaze on with wide open eyes? A dense, dense forest where no sunbeam prays. And in its center, a cleared spot. They bloom gigantic flowers on creepers that embrace tall trees. There, in a quiet, lucid lake, the wild swamps glide there, whirling from the break. The peacock springs, they herds of wild deer race. They patches gleam with yellow waving green. There, blue smoke from strange altars rises light. They dwells in peace. The poet and cried, But who is this fair lady? Not in vain she weeps for low, and every tear she sheds, tears from three pairs of young eyes fall amain, and bowed in sorrow are the three young heads. It is an old, old story, and the lay which has evoked sad Sita from the past is by a mother sung. It is hushed at last and melts the picture from their sight away. Yet, shall they dream of it until the day? When shall those children by their mother's side gather, ah me, as est at eventide? Thus she ends a poem here. It's a very beautiful uh, poem by Thorudar. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.